This is the place where sports opinions collide, dead in sports. I am Kenneth B. Inch, and this is the DE365 Sports Edition, Day 7. I told you guys that I will not be the only one doing these, and yesterday you got a chance to hear from BZ430. Now, even though I am back today, uh, you will hear from our other host uh, eventually. But, um, but tonight, on day seven, we're going to talk about the Washington Wizards announcer, Glenn Corsore, who came under fire after he made some very offensive comments about Kevin Porter Jr. as he hit a game winner to beat the Washington Wizards, 114-111 in Thursday night's game. Uh, after he hit the shot, he said, you got to give credit. Kevin Porter Jr., like his dad, pulled that trigger right at the right time. Now, if you um, don't know or if you can't figure it out by that comment, by that statement itself, uh, Kevin Porter's father reportedly pleaded guilty to manslaughter in the shooting death of a teenager uh, back in 1993. Um, Glenn said that he thought... Um, that Kevin Porter Jr. was the son of Washington Bullets, a former Washington Bullets player, Kevin Porter, who played in the league for a good number of years uh, as well. Um, Glenn, you know what? I, I, I honestly, you know, look, it was fine what he said. It's something that I feel like I was, I would have said, and it still would have been fine. Regardless of who said it, it would have been fouled. Um, but I will say, Glenn, while I do believe this is an honest mistake, but because, um, I mean, it would stand the reason that if there was a Washington Bullets player that played for, played for the Bullets, and his name was Kevin Porter, and his name is Kevin Porter Jr., and he's in the NBA, you would probably think that they're the same. Even though, Kevin, we don't all look alike. And since this is your job and your profession, it is up to you to do some research to make sure that that isn't the case. So uh, so what he said, and he put this on social media, uh, he said, please allow me to take this opportunity to sincerely apologize to Kevin Porter Jr., his family, and the Rockets organization for comments I made during last night's game. Um, he did say he reached out to Kevin Porter to apologize. Uh, he hasn't spoken with him, but he hopes to speak with him soon. And, uh, Washington as well apologized, and they um, said that Glenn Carsour apologized for a comment he made about Kevin Porter Jr. during last night's coverage of the Wizards-Rockets game. He conflated Porter's father with a former Washington player, uh, which is a fact. He did play, uh, and we join in Glenn's apology to Kevin Porter Jr. and his family. Um, so, yeah. So, you know, I mean, that's it. Uh, that's what happened, and that's where we are. Um I, I, I can't say whether or not I believe him or not. Um, it does seem like it can truly be an honest mistake. And even if it was truly an honest mistake, again, I'm going to just go back to what I, was, what I said earlier. You have to know your job. And it is his job to know whether or not Kevin Porter Jr. was the son of former Washington player Kevin Border. I mean, it's really that that simple. So, um, so that's where we are, man. And um, I'm gonna leave it there. So right now, I want to get back to this uh, this L.A. Atlanta game. L.A. right now is up 88-78. But uh, let me know, man. Let us know. What do you think about Glenn Consor's, uh comments? And do you believe him? Do you think he was telling the truth? Or do you think he took a chance to take a uh, very foul, say a very foul joke? And it didn't go well. I don't know. You let me know uh, in the comment section below. And we will catch you guys tomorrow for DE365 Day 8. Peace.